Hello, I'm Gloria Horsley, and our topic today is disenfranchised grief, and my guest is Ken Doka. Ken is a professor at the College of New Rochelle and a senior consultant to the Hospice Foundation of America. Well, Ken, you've talked about and written about disenfranchised grief, and I wondered if you could talk a little bit today about what that is. What disenfranchised grief is, is um, a grief or a loss that's unrecognized, unacknowledged by others. So you, you have a loss and you experience grief, but you really don't receive the normal support that many people would receive when they are grieving. Hmm. And why is that? Well, f there can be many reasons for that. Um, reasons that that grief is, is not validated. It may be that other people don't acknowledge the loss. They don't, they don't understand the relationship. For instance, why, you, why would you grieve an ex-spouse? Um, but all of those kinds of relationships, sometimes the griever isn't recognized. We may not see that a person who has an intellectual disability or dementia may still experience a sense of loss. Sometimes it's the griever themselves that disenfranchises themselves because maybe they're ashamed to talk about their child's suicide or their child dying of AIDS. Um, some deaths are disenfranchising. But, but what often happens is that um, in our work we talk about different types of grievers and sometimes um, people who are more emotional in their grief are, are not disenfranchised early in the grieving process mm -hmm. but are later in the grieving process where people who are less emotional and, and cope in more active strategies uh, sometimes get more support later. What suggestions do you have if I've been disenfranchised? Well my n first notion would be I think to, um, to, to try to understand what's keeping support. Um, where is the empathic um, failure, as, as, uh, as a colleague likes to say? Um, is it because you're not out reaching out for support? Is it mm -hmm. because people don't understand? And then I think you have to find your own ways to achieve support. Um, that might be in a lot of different ways. It may be creating your own ritual. Uh, it may be going out to a support group. It, it may be confronting the people in your support network and simply saying, I need your help, I need your mm -hmm. support. Um, I need what uh, I, I need you to, to be there for me in ways that um, that you haven't been so far. But the key issue is to enfranchise the disenfranchised. Well, thank you, Ken. Good to be here. Lost in the glow, there are so many things I want you to know. This candle says I love you This candle says I miss you This candle is saying I remember you When I'm holding it toward heaven It feels like you If you're looking down tonight and see this candle burning bright, it says I'm wishing you were here in the glow of this candle. I can almost see your smile and it carries me away. For a little while To another time Another place When all it took to Light up my world Was your beautiful face This candle says I love you This candle says I miss you This candle is saying